Blood had been running in the street in the Mexican town of Tasco Tuesday after a shootout between soldiers and suspected gang members left 15 gunmen dead. The house where the soldiers had gone to investigate suspicious activity was left riddled with bullet holes. Tasco, a town popular with foreign visitors, has become the scene of more and more drug cartel turf battles. But the violence has been increasing in other parts of the country as well. June is headed toward becoming the deadliest month yet in the war on drugs that President Felipe Calderón started waging back in 2006. Calderón himself went on national television Tuesday night to appeal to his countrymen to support the battle against organized crime. I say this is a fight of all Mexicans because criminals don't discriminate. They hurt all of society. That is why your participation is vital, because this is everyone's fight. For this reason, the information that you can give us is key in helping us advance in this fight. Officials in Tasco had told the Associated Press the men killed there Tuesday were suspected of being tied to U.S.-born Edgar Valdez Villarreal, a capo known as La Barbie. Security forces have detained several of his alleged henchmen recently, including Esnel Cortez Jimenez, alias El Teniente, believed to be running drug trafficking operations for his boss in parts of Mexico City. But making such high-profile arrests hasn't seemed to have made enough of an impact. The government is trying to do more. Earlier Tuesday, it had announced some of its toughest restrictions ever on dollar cash transactions to fight money laundering that fuels drug traffickers. Under the new rules, tourists and Mexicans without bank accounts will be limited to exchanging a maximum each month of $1,500 for pesos. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.